G'day, g'day, and welcome. Is my hair okay? Check that. G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. Now, today I'm out here on a private road with Tegan the Tigra, and I'm going to be finding out what kind of 0 to 100 times this car can achieve. Now, my goal for today is to see how closely I can match the time that the manufacturer quotes for this car. Now, I did a bit of research, and the general consensus is that this car does 0 to 100 in between around about 6.8 and 7.3 seconds. So my goal for today is to try and get a 0 to 100 time of around about 6.8, 6.9 seconds. Then I'll be satisfied that the time the manufacturer quotes is actually achievable in real life. Now because I like to look after this car, I'm not going to give too many attempts at doing this. I'm just going to have three goes and see how close I can get. So let's get down to it. Video from my channel doing uh, 0 to 100 times. Oh, yeah. What is that? This car? Yeah. Integra Type S. Oh. Yeah. That's well, good. You wouldn't go harder though. Yeah. What was that? Was yeah. to hundred about just under seven seconds but I obviously can't do that because the Say good day. Say good day to this man, lad. That's interesting. Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, mate. It's nice meeting you. You got a nice car. I approve. 
So as you would have seen from the overlaid times, I really didn't actually get that close. I was still 10% off with my best time shifting as quickly as possible being 7.4 seconds. I'd put this down for two reasons. First of all, conditions and tyres. When manufacturers test their cars, they test them in the optimum weather conditions with a good set of tyres to get the best possible time. However, when I tested mine, conditions were slightly greasy and while they're new tyres, the Diamondbacks fitted to this car are hardly very good. The second reason is this specific car and driver skill. I mean, the reality is it's 13 years and 170,000 Ks on from when the manufacturer tested it. And in that time, the engines lost a bit of power, parts might have gone a bit more worn out, which is going to hurt the time. And also, while I'm okay at shifting, the professional driver that Honda would have used back in the day to test this would have been much better at launching and shifting than I am. So, what can we learn? Well, take the manufacturer times with a grain of salt, because the reality is, the cars that you can buy on the used market today are going to struggle to match the time set by the manufacturer when the car was brand new. However, if your car is a bit newer or it has launch control, then you've got a better chance of matching the manufacturer time because there's less parts to be worn out and with launch control, and the reality is the computer does most of the work for you anyway, so there's less chance for human error. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I look forward to seeing you again next time.